to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Glad you made it, because we're gonna do a fun tune called Dennis Murphy's Polka. It's an Irish tune, it's super fun. I'm just gonna play the whole thing, um, A-A-B-B, and then uh, play it in mid-tempo, and then we'll learn it slowly, okay? Um, we'll learn it bit by bit, building up phrases and then quarters of tunes and then the whole tune. Dennis Murphy's Polka. Okay, so this tune is in D, so let's do a D major scale to warm up. Always a good idea, because you just find your notes that way, and you'll be that much more ready to do the song. Now do, kind of do the notes continuing up on the D scale. We won't finish it though. So having all that, you can do that up and down a few times. The other advantage of doing this is it'll make the scale practice seem much more fun and much more like you'll understand why you have to do it. Um, you'll see the connection between scales and tunes. If you kind of just keep, every time you do a new tune or even within one tune, just pause and play a scale. The other advantage of kind of doing that is that um, sometimes learning tunes is hard, right? And so you can take a break from learning it and just be like, oh, okay, I've been working too hard. I'm going to just play a scale. And the scales become something you know and they're familiar friends after a while. So I might even have us do that in the middle of this lesson. All right. So anyway, let's go. Starting E1 to E low 2, back to E1 and E open. Okay, good. Let's do that again. Now we're going to go to A3. Good. So that phrase is repeated a lot, so it's worth looping. It also, I think it's kind of hard. Kind of getting the first in tune and the A3 in tune, if you're beginner, intermediate, or anything in that realm. Let's move on. Just added a short one open. The one is a little shorter, actually. that again. Okay. And then after that we do this. It's on D. Open D, D2, open A. For you music nerds out there, that's a triad. D major triad. Alright, here we go. Here's that whole piece again. That, my friends, is the first quarter of the A part. Um, 
That, my friends, is the first quarter of the A part. All right, moving on to the second quarter. I'm gonna just play the whole second quarter. All right, so that's gonna start D3 to D1. And then we're gonna go all the way up to open E. It's kind of a hard bowing thing. You kind of have to rock across to the E. A good idea would be to practice um, up on open D, down on E. An even more fundamental thing you could practice to get this would be just rocking from D to E a little bit. So we're separating out the bowing from the fingering for a moment. But this is good. So then we do. And then now back to our phrase. Do it again. After that, we have. Let's break that up a little. Three, two, one on A. And then another one, two, one over. That's a triplet. If you feel confident with slurring, you can slur those. Let's put together the second quarter, which starts like this. All right, let's try it again. Makes sense. Let's loop it a teeny bit. One, two, three. Let's loop it a teeny bit. Two, three, four. That's the second quarter. Third quarter is the same as the first. I'll just play it again. Um, sorry, I added one extra note. And then, uh, um, let me do it again. And then the fourth quarter, Begins like the second, but it's different. I'm gonna play the whole fourth quarter for you now. That much is the same as the second quarter, but then it does something different. I just played the whole thing, I think it makes sense. We basically open E, one, open, A3. Once more. That's the fourth quarter of the A part. I'm now gonna slowly play an entire A part. If you're unsure of any of the quarters, go back and review them. You may wanna just listen to this first and then rewind and, and practice with me a few times. One, two, three, four. All right, good job. Let's move on. And if you weren't able to do that, I strongly suggest 
pausing, practicing what you need to practice, rewinding, listening a lot. Listening is practice too. Um, and now let's see, we've been working really hard. Let's do this. Let's take a, give our brains a little break from learning this tune and just do a D major scale again. Now start there and keep going up to A to E3. However you want to practice it, just pause, actually pause the video, do a little bit of scale practice, kind of let your mind relax for a little bit and then come back to hardcore learning. Hardcore learning! All right, time. For the B part, first quarter, I'm going to play the whole thing and then break it down. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with open A to, to E1. Sometimes even two notes is good practice because you hear the relationship. It's called the interval. You hear it. And just enjoy that sound. Try to make it sound full, use throwaway bow. And it'll help you remember the tune to really go into this. Now let's add more. I just added another one, an open, and one on E. Once more. Next bit is very similar melodic shape, but we're going open A to low 2 on E to 1 to low 2. Putting those things together to make the whole first quarter we have. Okay, cool. If you get this down, you really will be in good shape for learning the rest of the B part because it's very repetitive. Um, so we have. All right. Um, that's the whole first quarter. Let's just play it twice in a row. Again. Okay, good. Um, na, 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 na. That's the whole second quarter. That's the whole, here's the whole second quarter. Break it down. It starts like the first, but it ends on an uh, A3. It's the main difference. Once more. And then we do. Open one, open on E, A3. A1 open. All right, here's the whole second quarter played slowly. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Let's do the third quarter. And then we're going to go to the fourth soon, but um, it's very similar to the first. All right, that's the whole third quarter. Once 
once more. And then now we're gonna reach our fourth way high and do this. That's the whole fourth quarter. Here it is again, walk your, your notes up, find your notes, and then now. Just practice that. If you're new to the fourth finger, this will be hard. And you can use double notes for practice, it makes it a little easier. Now it's back to our phrase, the fourth quarter of the B part. Four, three, low two. And then now, a very tricky thing, we're gonna go to high two on A, or C sharp. And then end with open E to A3. Here's the whole fourth quarter, very slow. Again. All right, great work if you made it this far. Let's just do the whole B part, okay? Thanks for your patience. Thanks for working so hard. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And now you have the whole tune. Um, if it's not already um, posted below in the comments field, there will be a play along track so you can practice this song with guitar and a beat. Um, there will also be links to some other useful um, videos for you there, and as well as tabs that, that's left hand fingerings for all the tune, the, the entire tune. Glad you made it. We'll see you next time and have fun with this song. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent!